Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. With fuel prices going up, you're always looking for ways to save that little bit extra. So today I'm going to be putting canola cooking oil into my 80 series Land Cruiser diesel. Cooking oil, canola, cooking oil, straight into the 80 series Land Cruiser. Now before we do that, this is used cooking oil. I pick it up from fish and chip shops. Uh, I filter it. I filter it through a 50, well first actually I filter it through pantyhose or stockings, which takes out the large stuff. Then I go uh, through a t-shirt, cotton fabric, which takes tends to grab a lot of the fats. Then I go 50, 25, 10, 5 and 1 micron bag filters. And I'll show you one of those a bit later on. Filter it down because you don't want anything in it. The other thing I do is with my drums of oil, I will sit them there, let them stand. Now, once they have stood for a while, any muck tends to go to the bottom and I will only pour the clean oil off the top. You do not want to put filthy, disgusting oil into your tank on your Land Cruiser because it will damage the system. Now, I've had no trouble running oil. I've been doing it for quite a number of years now. I only run it at a mix. So I run about a 25% mix in my 1HDT engine. That's the factory turbo diesel engine. If I run, I can run more in summer, but I find that it tends to smoke a little bit in winter. And um, especially on cold startups, you tend to get that, that um, burnt fish and chip oil, fish and chip shop smell. And I've had some people follow me when I'm running higher. I have run up as high as 50% with no heating added to the car on the fuel lines or injector lines. You can run higher if you add some heating elements. There's lots of ways to do it. But the easiest way that I've found to do it is just to mix it with diesel at around 25%. Now I in tank mix it. I'm about to go fill up with fuel. I pour the oil in and um, drive on my sub tank to fill up and then fill up with the diesel, take it for a little drive, slosh it around, and I don't seem to have a problem. One thing you will find if you choose to do this, you will need to change your fuel filter more frequently. For some reason, something reacts with the oil and the, the diesel slime in the tank, and it will make it drop that slime and it will go through your filters and it will blog it up, clog it up a little bit faster. Okay, so here we go for real this time, guys. As you can see, canola cooking oil it is not diesel 100 percent i guarantee that i've got my fuel cap my fuel gate open here because my funnel tends to fall down so i just close that which balances it makes it a lot easier for me to put the cooking oil in you, you do not want to spill it it gets all down the side of your car and is absolutely feral and disgusting so there's two litres. Four litres. And at the moment where I am, um, diesel is around $2 a litre. So $2, $4 savings. And as I said, depending on the, the climate, whether it's summer or winter, I have run up to 50%. So this one is still cooking oil. Make sure you don't get any of that muck sitting on the top. I try to keep my drums clean. So right at the moment, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, and five. That's 15 litres in my 80 litre tank. Uh, I am going to put a little bit more in today because the weather's fairly warm. Uh, my lid doesn't want to go on. There it is. So I have been doing this for on and off, depending on fuel price, how much spare cash I have, for at least five years now. As I mentioned, the only issues that I have is the fuel filter blocks up a bit, so I always carry a spare fuel filter with me. 
and once I had the filter sock in the main tank in the car, so I only run it in my main tank, I had the main tank filter block up, so I had to take that out, clean that filter, replace that filter, and put it back in. That's what I was talking about, the sludge and the muck. Um, I'll give you a run through on how I do my filtering now, because um, that's all the oil I currently have filtered and out ready to go. So, guys, up to you. I'm not saying run cooking oil in your car. It is, do this at your own risk. Make sure of that. Do your own research. It's been working fine for me. Saving a few dollars. Anyway, let's get in and show you how I filter it. Okay, so I have here, this is my filtering system. I do try to keep it clean, but oil's sticky and it tends to get a lot of stuff catch to it that's there just to keep the top up but as I said I run it through um, some pantyhose or stocking material I'm not actually running a t-shirt at the moment but these are my bag filters so I'll see if I can I don't usually like pulling them out but special for you guys today on the YouTube channel you can see there it's a polyester bag filter and I can't get it out all the way so I've got 50, uh, 25, 15, uh, 15, 25, yeah, 15, 25, I don't know, I've lost count now, um, the bottom was one, we'll start from the bottom and go up, that might be better, so I've got a 1 micron at the last one there, then I've got a 5, 10, 15, 25, and 50, that's how it goes, so 50, 25, 10, five and one micron bag filters so it steps down filtering so if we put that back on and back down in there as I said I try to only get the clean oil now I've got here a little 12 volt fuel pump and that's how I get my oil out that hangs in there that doesn't hang at the bottom of the drum just in case I do get any water in there I do not want to pick up water and I get water in the system so that will pump out. So, let's put some oil in. I have here my drum, picked up from the takeaway. Uh, this one is Sopra cotton seed oil. Now, I normally do this slightly differently, but I'll see if I can do it at an angle that the cam is good for the camera. Okay. So I pour the drum because any muck I want to catch down the bottom, I only want to take the clean oil off the top. And that needs to be a bit more out of the way. And then it just goes in like that. Now I want to watch as I'm pouring it for a slight faint swirl of white. If you get a faint, faint, uh, if you get a faint swirl of white, then you're starting to pick up muck from the bottom which means water, if there is any water, is not far behind. But that's also fat and yuck and guck. That will just block up your filter. So when your filter fills up, you just let it slowly get back like that. And depending on where you get the oil from as to how clean your oil will be. This drum has been settling for probably two months. So it's coming off the top pretty clean and I've found a nice fish and chip shop that keeps my, that uses, changes their oil fairly frequently. And there it is, my very faint line. So right at the moment I've got about that much oil left in the, in the bottom of the drum. That is useless oil. Um, what you can do is um, pour it into another drum and build it up and then let it sit and it will settle out and you'll get more clean oil off the top. Up to you, if not, dispose of it thoughtfully. I just have a little 12 volt pump. That pumps the top off my oil. It doesn't pump it real fast. So I'll leave it sit there for a while and fill that up. And then that is ready to go in the car. So this is one of the bag filters that I use to filter my oil. Um, they do come with a thing you can hang. You can pick them up on eBay or other other online shops. And I stack them inside. This one's a 5 micron 
Uh, it's one of my spare ones. And I just sit them with a hole cut in top of the 44 gallon drum like that. So just while I'm pouring the uh, cooking oil in here, the diesel engine was first designed by Rudolf Diesel. Uh, in about 1892, he decided that he, he wanted a better engine that would be more efficient. And he experimented with a few different things. Uh, one of them being coal dust and a few other things. But by the mid 1900s, he had a working diesel engine that was running on 100% on cooking oil, um, peanut oil. Uh, he then proceeded to use uh, vegetable oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, and get a working engine. It really took off around the time of the war uh, when it started to be used by the US military and now we have the diesel that we know and run in our cars today. So today in my 80 litre tank, I am putting 30 litres of used filtered cooking oil. Now, again, if you're going to do this, I recommend you check it for your engine. Some newer engines do not like running the used cooking oil. So I'm putting in around about 30 litres, which is going to save me about $60. So closed up ready. I am going to drive on my sub tank, which has straight diesel in it. Also good to flick between them on your trips for cold starts. You can start and stop on straight diesel. It makes it a bit easier for your engine to start. It doesn't smoke as much. Um, and I will be going to the petrol station to fill up the rest of that tank and give it a good sloshing around. 